my my name's August. Uh, I was born in 1998, 24 years old. Uh, I've been doing music in Bellingham since 2015, or probably 2014 or 2015. Uh, I am not really a Bellingham artist as much as I am a Skagit County artist. I was originally from Mount Vernon, but I currently uh, am based out of Anacortes. The constant in the music that I've been making is the experience of vastness. And like, uh, like for example, like the goal with triage was to encapsulate like a uh, quasi-physical experience through sound. And with August, I would say I'm still kind of touching on that subject a lot, uh, while also uh, kind of messing around with it in different directions, because sometimes the music isn't very loud, and then other times it can be quite loud. But I think the the vastness that I'm approaching these days has more to do with like a uh, like a uh, like a liminal approach rather than like a uh, physical approach. You know, when I was starting uh, uh, triage, I was probably about probably 20 years old, barely, at that point. It was definitely a very strict aesthetic approach, and that was built around me uh, kind of being like, you know, it has to be this very regimented about it. But these days, I kind of don't agree with that approach very much. I think that's kind of like a, uh, like kind of dipping your toes into some territory that feels kind of like not appropriate to music. At least not all music. I think that it works with like composed music. But uh, nowadays I really like to like kind of fuel like a collaborative space. Like August is mostly just people collaborating with me and it's kind of really loose form. I think that's kind of the biggest growth I see is my willingness to take my own aesthetic ideas of what I'm doing and then let people add on to that without necessarily needing to be strict about it. I don't know, it's, it's a strange place because when you're actually in the town, it feels very like cute and peaceful. But then you like kind of go outside of the town and you go into like the Mount Erie Fidalgo Island area, and it gets really creepy suddenly. Like it, like the wilderness out there is just kind of like you get a lot of old growth that's just like very haunted looking. And you got, I mean, Mount Erie itself is kind of just a creepy mountain. There's just all these places like right just kind of hanging out around Anacortes that are like far more ancient than the town itself that kind of make you ask more questions than they like than they should. Also there's like this like kind of undercurrent within the town with all these like artists. I think a lot of that was sparked by the uh, Department of Safety back in the early 2000s. Like, if you're not familiar with the space, it's like, you know how Karate Church is like this big, like, it's a church. I mean, Unknown's also a church, except Unknown's a bigger, older church. Uh, it's uh, built a little differently, too, to where, like, sound can kind of travel through the room more freely. So it's really ideal for, like, big resonant sounds, and uh, that happens to lean into what I do pretty well. I think what makes it special to me is that me and Nick kind of have a, uh, a strong communicative, uh, shared uh, economy of ideas, where he can, he can tell me if, like, 
you know, you should do this or this or, you know, that sounds bad and it's not like a thing where it's like kind of uncomfortable. It's a pretty easy environment for me to work in. It's great for me to go there as far as orchestration goes just because there's all these like wide array of instruments. You've got all sorts of organs and mellotrons and bells and uh, he's got two harpsichords. I don't know <laughs> why he needs two, but he has them. I don't know, there's just a really strong free improv scene in Seattle. And so I, part of it is I'm just fortunate enough to kind of have my, uh, my uh, eyes on that scene and know a lot of those people. People who are doing a th like a thing on their own, like, you know, their, their personal output is something that I think I could complement with my work. So I don't really try to work with people and make them do something they're not already doing. I just kind of add to that. And that's kind of the best conditions for collaboration as far as I'm concerned. One of the, one of the last shows that I did uh, at Chapel back like right before New Year's Eve, uh, I played with uh, uh, Casey Adams, who's the drummer for a uh, customer. And we didn't like practice or like do a sound check or anything. It was just like, okay, we're gonna go play right now. Let's go on stage. And then we went on stage and we played what I thought was the best set August has put out so far. So things like that, where it's like kind of risky behavior, but it's also like that kind of makes the music. Heaven's Gates is an interesting one. I I think that like, so the album cover is like a sun. It's like beautiful in a way where it's kind of ugly in a sense. But Heaven's Gate itself, I think is probably the most beautiful sounding album I've made. Sometimes it hits like jazz, kind of. I'd even say sometimes it's kind of hitting like classical kind of sounds. There's not a lot of drum sets. There's like, most of the percussion is like a gong, a timpani, and like some sleigh bells, essentially. Uh, like, I don't know, I always kind of relate sounds to colors in my head. And most of my albums kind of fit into like, kind of like a purple or red or dark blue kind of sound. But this one's like, like very earthy, like, like very pastoral earthy, like very bright colors.